Hello out there YouTube land. If you're here today, it's because you want to install these into your Renegade. So here's the fastest video I can make on how to do that. To start, let's see your old stuff. So without putting your foot on the brake, just go ahead and hit that start button and you're in accessory mode. You can then go ahead and hit the turn signal. And you should see that the turn signals are working. You have three. If you're really lucky, the only tools you'll need are a stubby screwdriver and your needle nose pliers. Let's get to it. The first thing is getting the old one out. To do this, we come to the inside, we find that metal clip that's on the top, and we just go ahead and we push down on it and push out, and it pops right out. Here's a unique side-by-side -side comparison. We'll explain why you can have both of them plugged in at the same time later on, but for this particular example, we're going to go ahead and remove the old one simply by pushing down on the clip and removing the clip from the brown bulb holder. We do not need this anymore. We can actually go ahead and get on to step two, which is to take this connector and do that. We will not use that again. Turn your wheel to which, to the opposite side of the one that you're changing the bulb on so that you can get to the two plastic screws that are there. Using your stubby screwdriver, unscrew them almost all the way, they will stop, and then pull on the panel and it will pop out and you should have one complete piece. And there you can see the panel. As I said, you don't have to take them all the way out. The clips will release before you get the panel all the way out. We just set that aside. The next step is to get a hold of the blinker bulb that is in with the daytime running lights in this particular location. To do that, we come around to the hole that we've just opened up. We reach in and I can only describe it. I'll try to get a picture of it, but you're feeling for the back of a light you follow in the wires there you can follow those up but you'll feel the back of the light it kind of has a handle shape to it you twist it, it to the right in this case because we're on the passenger side and it will come out and then you'll have your bulb in this particular example i've already had this installed so i'm kind of going backwards for you but what you would do is feed the side of the wire with the two connectors down inside leaving the single one out input your bulb into it, find on here there's a side with a small little protrusion there and it lines up with the hole here, one of these two notches. Put it in, turn it 90 degrees and you're all set. Undo the plug from the original blinker light that you have simply by lifting up on the connector and pushing it off. Then take the plug that came with your kit, the female side, and plug that into that location. Now you should have one plug here. Plug this back into your blinker. Let's see if I can do it. I'll be darned, I did it. Now this goes back into the socket in the front of the vehicle so that it can once again light up with your daytime running light when you turn it on. This is a view inside of the compartment where the light is, there you can see our white rear to the blinker. Down lower is our fog light, make sure you don't pull that one off. But you turn that one way or the other, they're different on both sides, and it will release and pull back towards you. If you ever want to change your daytime running light to the LED, it's right to the left of it, or right to the center of the vehicle from the side you're on. With the bulb in the light, it should look like this, all the way seated, up to the ridges for pulling it out. Now I chose this side because it has a bit of an issue. We'll see if we can replicate it again. It's something that I see a lot where you push it in and it doesn't stay. You can't, no matter how hard you push it, it pops out. So here's the fix for that. You have to come back inside here with your needle nose pliers and pull on the clip. It took me three tries to set this shot up. So let's see if I can do it in an amenable fashion stayed in no problem. So in this side we have to hold it in. We have to come back to the inside here. I'll see if I can do this. This is try number four by the way with this. And we'll go ahead and we'll grab our pliers. Nope this isn't gonna work. So we come in here with our needle nose pliers. We grab the clip and we pull that clip in and then of course we hear it pop and now it stays in. Let's try that again. It doesn't stay in. As you can see, we push it. 
Oh, and now it stays. Of course it does. Well, that's how it should work. Make sure you put your panel back on and you're all set.